Welcome to an intro example on how to factor by grouping. If we take a look at the given polynomial expression, notice how we have a quadratic expression because it has degree two. Also notice how we have an even number of terms which is required to factor by grouping. Notice how these two middle terms are like terms. So because negative 12x plus 14x equals 2x, this expression is equivalent to 8x squared plus 2x minus 21. But again, we do want to leave it in this form here to factor by grouping because we do need an even number of terms to apply this technique. One of the main reasons we learn factor by grouping, though, is to be able to factor quadratics in this form here where the leading coefficient is not 1, and these do tend to be more challenging to factor. But again, for this example, we're just getting used to the factor by grouping technique. In our next lesson, we'll learn how we know to write 2x as negative 12x plus 14x to apply factor by grouping. So starting with the given expression, step one is going to be to divide or group the polynomial into two halves. Again, because we have four terms, the first half would be 8x squared minus 12x. And let's put a vertical line here to divide the first half and the second half. The second half would be plus 14x minus 21. Step two, we factor out the greatest common factor from the first and second half. So looking at just the first two terms, notice how the greatest common factor is 4x. So if we factor out 4x, we'd be left with the quantity 2x minus 3. And now we factor the greatest common factor out of the second half. The greatest common factor of 14x minus 21 is 7. So because we'll be factoring out a positive 7, we'll write plus 7, and then times the quantity, 2x minus 3. Step 3, we factor out the common polynomial factor. So what we'll notice is whenever we factor by grouping, we should have a common polynomial factor in these products. Notice in this case, we do have a common binomial factor of 2x minus 3. So now we'll factor 2x minus 3 from these products. So notice we factor 2x minus 3 out, we'd be left with 4x plus 7, which is the remaining factor. So this is the factored form of the given polynomial expression. And of course, if we want, we can check this by multiplying this out. And let's go ahead and do this. So I'd have the quantity 2x minus 3 times the quantity 4x plus 7. And we'll have four products. We distribute the 2x first. Then we distribute negative 3. So we'd have 2x times 4x, that's 8x squared. And then 2x times 7, that's 14x, so plus 14x. And then we distribute negative 3. Negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x, so we have minus 12x. And finally, we have negative 3 times 7, which would be negative 21 or minus 21. So notice how this expression is equivalent to the given expression, which means we did factor this correctly. If we wanted to go one more step, though, we could combine these like terms. So we'd have 8x squared, and then 14x minus 12x is 2x. So we have plus 2x minus 21, which we know is equivalent to the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.